Have you ever been in love before? Ever get those warm, fuzzy feelings when you're with that special someone? No, it's not Cupid's arrow that has you love struck. It's your brain at work. I'm a molecular neuroendocrinologist at Georgetown who specializes in understanding how hormones affect our body. I'm here to tell you what goes into the potent brew that makes up the love potion. When people fall in love, they activate one of the most basic systems of the human brain, the reward pathway. It's the same primal mechanism that has you riding high after eating a favorite food or winning a prize at the arcade. It's also self-reinforcing. In other words, the more you have it, the more you want it. The reward pathway is one reason why you want to keep seeing someone when you first fall in love. It's your brain releasing dopamine or the so-called pleasure chemical that tells your brain to get more of that same thing. When you're falling in love, dopamine works hand in hand with cortisol, the so-called stress hormone. If you've ever been nervous on a first date with sweaty palms and your heart beating out of control, that's cortisol at work. Let's face it, falling in love is stressful. You're constantly doubting if a new relationship will work or wondering if he or she is the one. Cortisol is the stress hormone released from your brain that goes up in those high stake moments in the early stages of a budding romantic relationship. But while your cortisol levels rise, another key chemical actually goes down. In a new relationship, intrusive thoughts may cloud your mind all day long. Thoughts such as, there's no way they're into me, or I can't live without this person. There's a neurological reason why you're having these thoughts. When you fall in love, the amount of serotonin in key areas of your brain decreases, impacting your mood. Low levels of serotonin precipitate what is described as the intrusive, maddeningly occupying thoughts, hopes, terrors of early love the obsessive compulsive behaviors associated with infatuation. If your friends are sick of you talking about your newfound love all the time, chances are it's because your serotonin levels are down. Why can't you just be happy for me and then go home and talk behind my back later like a normal person? So we know what happens when you first fall in love, but what happens when you're out of that honeymoon phase? Once you settle into a relationship, many of your hormone levels return to normal. After all, if your serotonin levels are always low and you're always obsessing over your new mate, that relationship may not last very long. Trust me, I've been married for a long time. And while you may not get those same butterflies in your stomach anymore, oxytocin and vasopressin are two other hormones that are often elevated in long-term relationships. This might be because the stress and jitters from early in the relationship are gone and are replaced by a sense of trust and stability, which may lead to more oxytocin and vasopressin. Oxytocin is often nicknamed the love hormone because levels increase after physical touch with a loved one. Oxytocin is particularly important in women with levels increasing when a mother is pregnant and nursing. Oxytocin helps promote a strong sense of attachment with her baby and with her partner. For men, vasopressin plays an equally important role. As vasopressin levels rise in the brain, men tend to have a feeling of satisfaction and a stable pair bond is reinforced with his partner, a feeling that is common in long-term relationships after the high intensity sparks of a new relationship start to fade away. At the end of the day, our brains may be hardwired by evolution to seek a long-term partner instead of multiple short-term relationships. And while love can begin as a stressor, a lasting love becomes a buffer against stress. These relationships lead to happier lives and greater fertility, which could be a basic instinct that is passed down from generation to generation. And that's the neuroscience behind love. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone.